So uh, thank you for Sages and uh, the chairs for having me here to present our paper of reduction of invasive interventions in severely obese with osteoarthritis after undergoing bariatric surgery. So I have nothing to disclose. And osteoarthritis is the finest degeneration of cartilage and its underlying bone within the joint, which will cause the breakdown of the tissue. And this will be reflected as a stiffness, tenderness, pain, and deformity of the joint. The CDC performed uh, future projections of uh, patients with osteoarthritis in the US. And by the year 2015, 54 million of Americans had osteoarthritis. By next year, it's projected to increase to 63 million of Americans. Of these, 30% are obese. And this is reflected in knee osteoarthritis, hip osteoarthritis, and hand osteoarthritis. So overweight people are at four to five times more likely of having osteoarthritis, and obesity is a big risk factor. The Framingham study performed a, a calculation, and they found that for two units increasing the BMI over 36, the increase of having osteoarthritis will increase in 35%. And so many uh, etiologies have been proposed, but the two main are, so the weight effect, uh, it will cause, the, okay. so the weight effect will cause that the cartilage wears over time, and because uh, obesity is a chronic inflammatory state, it will cause that the uh, um, synovial inflammation and cartilage, that the cartilage wears over time. Both these factors will cause that the joint will get stiff and will not support uh, weight-bearing joints. So the objectives of our study are to describe osteoarthritis in our population and the changes in osteoarthritis treatment after undergoing bariatric surgery. So we uh, analyzed retrospectively our patients from the year 2004 to 2018 of severely obese patients with osteoarthritis. Uh, patients who underwent gastric banding, sleeves, and bypass, and we excluded our revisional surgeries and open surgeries. The severity of, was assessed of requiring invasive interventions at 12 months and at 12, 24 months of the follow-up. And the invasive interventions were surgical drainage, articular injections, meniscectomies, total hip replacement, and total knee replacements. So after reviewing over 4,000 patients, we found that almost 12% had osteoarthritis bef before having a bariatric surgery. Of those, 69% were females with an average BMI of 44. So most of our patients were asleep of 43%, followed by uh, bypass 39%, and then 16% uh, banning. So in this uh, pie, you can see all of the page, all of the type of osteoarthritis we found in the population. However, the most important one was hip osteoarthritis with 31%, and the majority of our patients were uh, asleep, and this was attributed because most of our surgeries are sleeves. So in this uh, bar chart, you could see uh, in the blue um, bars, the invasive intervention, and in the yellow ones, the pain medications. So we found a risk reduction of 69% at 12 months of requiring invasive intervention, and an 80% at 24 months. And for pain medication, it was 96% at 12 months and 99%. And this was statistically significant. So when we analyzed the BMI changes, we found that patients who had higher BMI at baseline and at the follow-up of 12 months and 24 months did not require invasive interventions. This was statistically significant as well. So then we took all the patients who required invasive interventions, and we found that all required this for the hip. So when we follow at 12 months, 68% requires uh, surgical drainage of the hip, 17% articular injections, and 9% total hip replacements. At 24%, at 24 months, this trend followed. 65% of our patients required surgical drainage of the hip, 16 articular injections, and 10% total hip replacement. 
It is important to mention that all our patients who required hip replacement or knee replacement were evaluated first by orthopedics and then were sent to us uh, prior to their surgery to reduce weight and improve their um, surgery. So limitations of our study, the retrospective nature, our loss and follow-up, the relative small population, especially in the um, bandings, potential referral bias. So we can conclude that bariatric surgery reduces the need for invasive intervention in patients with other osteoarthritis. It lowers the use of oral medications, and the effect is related with the amount of weight loss in our patients. Thank you.